Hey there, it's the Nicotina and Ashley Ashley Show. Hey guys, it's Ashley Ashley here, and we are here with the American Cancer Society COO, Jim Neely. Hey there, Jim. You remember us, Nicotina, and this is Ashley Ashley. Hey, Jim. How are you? Yeah, how are you? What do you guys want? <laughs> oh, now that's not very friendly. No, not friendly at all. Now, Jim. You don't smoke now, but I hear there were times when you loved to hang out with hotties like us. How did that all start? Well, unfortunately for me, I was probably bamboozled by some commercials when I was a teenager. Bamboozled? Bamboozled! That seems like strong language to me. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Even though I was a closet smoker, I, none of my friends really knew I smoked, but I thought I was pretty cool. So, Jim, when did you decide to break our hearts and dump us? I decided to quit for uh, some very, uh, one in particular very good reason, and that is that the average non-smoker lives six and a half years longer. At least that was true in 1973. It may even be longer now. And I wanted those years uh, to be the most relaxing and the most rewarding for me. So the decision was easy. My, my problem was staying away because the, uh, the addiction to you guys was very strong and I would keep coming back because I wasn't a strong person. Mm-hmm. You wanted us. You know, is it true that you smoked during your interview with the American Cancer Society way back in 1973? Reluctantly, it was a time when smoking wasn't as... Uh, socially unacceptable as it as it is today and I am ashamed to say that yes I did have a cigarette on my interview and was hired in spite of that. How often do smokers come up to you and tell you you're a traitor Jim? Yeah traitor. Traitor. I wish they would come up and say that more often because I would take that opportunity to tell them how not smart they are and how they have given in to your temptations uh, because those temptations are very great. Mm -hmm. I fortunately am no longer under your spell. Jim, you just hurt my feelings. I hope I did. Well, in fact, I feel sorry for you, Jim. How can you possibly maintain a positive outlook on life without being able to light up? It doesn't I, make sense. I imagine you would feel sorry for me because your lifespan is shorter and shorter because fewer people are smoking, companies aren't making enough money, maybe just in fact they'll have to get rid of them after a while. There's hope for all of us. How could you say that? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Come on. You miss us. You gotta be kidding. Oh, please. Let's you do. I'm sure you'll agree that it's incredibly hard to keep a distance from babes like us. I mean, come on. You think uh, we're I have to admit, after 33 years, you're still tempting, but there is no way, sweetheart. Listen, Jim, please, please come take us back. Please, we, we love you. But the only way I'll do it is if I can take you, <gasps> oh, you where you no, belong. No.